I cannot fucking believe this. We're sitting there watching TV. It's the end of the night and we're on our mooring ball in Port Washington and we hear this crunch. Some boat just hit us and they're caught on our mooring ball line and they're asking us to detach from our mooring ball. Um, I'm not even sure what to do in this situation. It's incredible. Brooklyn Bridge. Did you know it's for sale? We just motor sailed from Liberty Harbor and New York City Harbor over to Manhasset Bay, which is also part of New York. It's kind of on the Long Island Sound side of Long Island. And we'll probably be here almost a week. As you can see, there are a lot of boats here in the, in the bay, uh, predominantly mooring balls, but you can also anchor, but it's been uh, crazy wicked winds coming in. So we figured a, a mooring ball would be much safer. So here we are. So it's just crazy how these storms pass over. Uh, and I wish, hopefully, I could... Rec There's the thunder. And hopefully, I wish I could have recorded it accurately, but thankfully, we're on a morning because we've been swirling all over the place. We have this just torrential downpour. Yeah, I mean, my feet, look at this. this is, I'm just soaked. As you can see, this wild, crazy storm is pushing through at practically 10 o'clock at night because that's when everything happens after it's dark. But it's also kind of cool that this massive amount of rain will help clean the boat. Um, we feel much more secure on the mooring ball. But yeah, I mean, it's wicked cool. And like I said, wicked winds. There's my man fixing our jib track stopper that seems to have broken for some reason. And we're at a place here that we can order parts, so we're hoping we can get a new one. I think it just got flogged so hard it bent the pin in there, so now it's not able to come off. <laughs> I was trying with my BFRH, that didn't help. I did some PB blast, I had some WD 40 somewhere else. Uh, so now I'm going to try and attack the problem with a real hammer, and now it's gonna be hammer time. So I broke out the hammer, a little bit of hammer time. Got it to come up a little bit more so it slides more, but it's still stuck. So I just gotta keep figuring out which way to hit the hammer to keep uh, bending that pin back to get that off. All right, got the replacement part. This came in the other day. Then I just gotta unscrew, take this stopper piece off, and then, there we go. And then 
and just resecure that, which I will with the Allen wrench. But you can see we now have a functioning stopper once again for our jib. Make it look too easy. <laughs> This is Anne's third attempt to get on the boat. All right, I got the doggy. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! I was afraid a few times there. The shots he did too, and she wasn't too thrilled. <laughs> This is the greatest town. There's like a Walgreens, a Stop and Shop, a Target, um, liquor store, you name it. It's well, got liquor everything. Store. <laughs> I got a six pack. Woohoo! Not there, but in there. Yeah, oh, well, I got, I, I got eggs. <laughs> I was like, oh, I had to get one thing for the grocery store. What did, did I get? Did you find Scrapple? Oh, no, this is just from CVS. Ah. Uh, or Walgreens. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so just white eggs, so. Yum yeah. yum. But this is the best part. Montauk oh. Summer Ale. Brewed Woo. here on Long Island. Yeah. I figured with that name. And it was the highest ABV they, that I could find. It's the only reason how you select beer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have these clementines that were getting a little soft. We hate to waste food, so we cut them up and I'm juicing them. And we're trying to find a rum drink that we can make with the clementine, orange juice, banana, and coconut rum, and the other rum that we have. I highly recommend a mix of the dark rum and the banana rum, and it's delicious. Now, Dennis, what'd you go for? So I also had the dark rum with the clementine juice, but I did a combo of the banana and the coconut rum. That's delish. Pros. Apparently, when we had defrosted our freezer, this is what happened to all our frozen veggies. And we don't have enough room in our thermal cooker. So I got a solution. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay, ready? It's gonna make a mess, I know it. Holy shit. Laundry day! Laundry day. It's nice and convenient that, I don't know if someone was being thoughtful or lazy, but there's two shopping carts that are from the stopping shop. So <laughs> Nice and handy to <laughs> bring all our laundry. <laughs> Stuck on the ball? Yes. Shut the ball up. 
No, that's our ball. So their boat is stuck on our mooring ball. Okay, so I think probably the best you can do is just to disconnect and get some more. No, we're not disconnecting. You need to get off us. This is high winds. Um, and it's under your keel. I'm going to call for help. I, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> we definitely the most shocking moment we've had so far on the boat. Yeah, like you for know, sure. dragging anchor, scary yeah. sails, yeah, yeah. dumping had, in the water. We had somebody literally hit us <laughs> on a mooring ball, and in it's like in broad daylight. In broad daylight, and because we had adjourned for the evening, yeah. gone down watching a TV show, and all of a sudden we hear this bump and stuff. And you know, it's like, what the fuck? So we both come running out, <laughs> grabbing, oh, there's my shorts. And yeah. this monohull was, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. They, they were <laughs> literally tangled on our mooring ball. Yeah. And we tie our mooring ball as close to the cleats as we possibly can. So, and they're like, well, we were trying to pick up the mooring ball. I'm like, you're trying to pick up a mooring ball that already has a boat on it. And in this bay, Nanhasset Bay, they clearly say transients pick up yellow balls. They're not right. reading the so terms. So somehow they had completely jumped our line from the ball to the cleating point and their rudder was stuck. So we ended up having to untether ourselves. Yeah. And then Anne had to like, position ourselves in like 15 20 knots of wind to continuously keep us in position um fortunately that did the trick um us coming off our mooring ball yeah uh, allowed, allowed them, them to, get, to off. get off the mooring ball line and then we just turned around and remoored oh my god i you know yeah. there's only superficial damage the constable is talking with them yeah um and uh for us this is the great thing about having a vinyl wrap we'll just have to rewrap that front bit where it's scraped up yeah. um and there's no hurry it's not the it's just very very superficial yeah. but it was so unexpected i know right and totally like you're like oh i'm done for the evening like <laughs> and off then ramp and then all of a sudden like whoop oh no <laughs> motherfucker you're back on the on ramp yeah well, and here's the thing also, as a sailor, you know, when you go to bed, um, always have your clothes really nearby. Um, because I threw on my dress, it was totally inside out um, that I was wearing. It wasn't really the most <laughs> ideal thing to wear out in the wind, but uh, it was something. <laughs> Get your boat off my boat. <laughs> they were very nice and apologetic. Uh, we hope they will give us some cash to have our wrap fixed on our port valve. So they asked us what we like to drink and I bet you can guess what our answer was. Whiskey. No. Rum. No. <gasps> no way. Southern Comfort. Ah, big surprise. Anyway, so it's really nice that they got us a big thing of Southern Comfort. Yes. So thank you for that. Awesome. Let's crack that baby open. Oh yeah. 
You look so cute in your bag, Shotzi. Are you ready to ride the train? Nipple, but you know. Okay. I thought I heard it. Oh, there you go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> He's a tongue. <laughs> that uh, holds it a little more. It than does hold just a, a lot. Woo! Okay. Oh, that's in New York. That's fucking beautiful. That's fucking America. America with the M. M. America. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. I mean. So we've been under the weather for the last couple of days, sick. Um, I've just been hanging out in Fort Washington. And then today, we're still filling it. We wanted to leave, but we had a big breakfast, scrapple, eggs, so it was really more of a brunch. And so we really haven't eaten since nine or 10, and now it's five o'clock and we're having our happy hour. And that shit is just hitting hard. And to that, and you said. I said, maybe that's what we do. We just eat less and drink more. Brilliant. Ah! <laughs> we're finally leaving Fort Washington. <laughs> Finally, I think we got here like on the 24th uh, of, and then, June. of June, and then we had every inclination to leave right after 4th of July. Then we got sick, we've been laid up for a good four or five days, and you know, uh, here we are like almost two weeks. <laughs> yeah. The longest I think we've been anywhere Actually, in one place. Actually, in one place. On well, the boat. What a perfect place to be. Washington, you are the best place we have stayed on the East Coast. Yay, see a Manhasset Bay. Ha!